Day 1 Our vessel is about to depart from the port of Paldiski, Estonia. We will be traveling towards our next destination, the port of Martis in Turkey. Our voyage begins. The next few days after our departure was uneventful, although we did receive a weather forecast of rough seas in the coming days when we passed through the North Sea. This made us worry a little bit, but hopefully everything will turn out fine once we get there. Day 3 Our vessel is about to pass through Skau. We will be picking up a pilot to help us navigate through these waters. This was a different route from the previous one we took when we left Antwerp and headed for the Baltic Sea. Our ship successfully navigated through Skau. And now it's time for the pilot to disembark. Day 5. The sea condition is starting to get a bit rough. Nothing too scary, just a bit of a nuisance. A little bit of rolling from time to time is quite normal aboard a ship. To a neophyte seafarer, slight rolling motions could cause all kinds of discomfort. To a veteran seafarer like me, still annoying. Day 6. Our vessel just left the North Sea and is about to enter the Bay of Biscay. This area is notorious to seafarers as the sea conditions here usually become drastic at the slightest turn of the weather. Our vessel started to experience heavier rolling, but nothing too alarming. This right here is an example of good weather here in the Bay of Biscay. Day 8. Our ship has finally left the Bay of Biscay. Although we're still experiencing a little bit of rolling, the sea conditions have started to turn favorable. The ambient temperature also started to warm up. On the brighter side, we have received good news that our weather forecast will be favorable all the way until we reach our destination. Day 10. The sea is calm once again. We ran into a foggy area which added a little bit of calmness to the present mood. Our ship is about to pass through the Gibraltar Strait, the gateway to the Mediterranean Sea. We were lucky enough to pass through here during the daytime as we were able to see the famed Rock of Gibraltar. Once inside the Mediterranean Sea, it will only be a matter of days before we reach port. Day 11 Since before entering the Mediterranean Sea, our vessel's heading was eastward which gave us the opportunity to witness the beautiful sunrise dead ahead. I also started taking time lapses at night. The moonlight and the traffic all around made it a sight worth seeing. Day 
day 14. We have reached the Aegean Sea. Heavier traffic is expected in the days to come. During long voyages such as these, one can't help but look back at the days we have spent, the hours we have worked, all of that time spent away from our own homes for months on end. And for what? I look into the days and months ahead and visualize my plans for the future. And from my point of view, the future looks bright. That makes all of these worth it in the end. Day 16, early morning. Our vessel is about to pass through the Dardanelles. Once again, we will have to pick up a pilot to help us navigate through the passage. Once we're through, it will only be a matter of hours before we arrive at our destination. After 16 days of sailing, our vessel is finally safely at berth in the port of Martus, Turkey. We were blessed to have completed this voyage without any incidents or any extraordinary occurrences. We will be staying in this port and discharge our cargo for the next 5 days and after we're done here, it's back on to the next voyage.